This is a Wildlings teaser video on some enhanced features in Content Manager Full Client 9.4. A new dialogue to customization multiple view panes has been added. This allows a user to update their record view pane setting for multiple record types. On the Customize View Pane dialog box, users can select the record types whose view panes they would like to update. Then either copy from an existing record type setup or build their own view pane settings by selecting the required properties to add or remove. Content Manager 9.4 can now send email notifications to action assignees just before an action is due to start. Select Send Email Reminder when an action start date is within. The Previous Workflow tab is now the Actions page in Content Manager 9.4. Shown here is the new workflow page. A new search method called String Search is available on the Content Manager search toolbar. Quick search options have been added to the select dialogues to make searching for records, locations and other objects even easier. This allows users to build a simple search from a dialogue to refine the results already displayed. A search field has been added to System Options and Options windows making it easier to find option items. The drop-down menu for the search by method now displays all the search by methods with descriptions relating to the search for item. The most recently used methods are displayed at the top of the list. Audit logs can be searched on. View the audit log as per normal. In the audit log viewer, there is a search button. Click to select find and enter the event. They can be searched one by one, or a user can select all to display all the results for the selected event. A new default setting option is available to allow organizations to keep a history of address changes, located in system options on the locations page. Organizations can choose from three options. Keep address history if enabled for a location, keep address history for most locations, and always keep address in history. Additional merge options are now available when removing locations. Organizations can copy across the existing addresses and user labels from the location being removed to its replacement location. Manage associations is a new option to allow organizations to update location associations, either on a single location or on multiple locations without having to open the location's properties. When a new email address is added to a location via the Location Properties Electronic Addresses tab, there is now an option to make the new email address the default email address. Users can update their own personal information in the location list, even if they do not have the Modify Location permissions. They will need to have the new user permission, Modify Your Own User Information, applied. This will allow a user to update their name, email address, phone number, address, image, or add a note to their profile by either double-clicking their username in the status bar or from the file menu, Profile option. The dialogue forms used to build record relationships and add contacts has been redesigned. Multiple contacts can be added to records via the right-click menu, Locations, Attach Contacts. Multiple relationship types can be added in a single update using the right-click menu, Details, then Relationships. Access Control from Container is now available when applying custom access controls to a record that is contained within a container. This option will copy the locations in the container's access controls to the access controls of the record being updated. This is available in the Security Access Custom dialog. Access controls can be accessed, added or modified via the right-click menu, Security and Audit, then Security Access. Access controls have been added to user labels, to-do items, workflow activities and external links. Access controls are only applicable to user labels that are group owned where the user label owner is set to a group or organization and the user label is shared among a group of users. Multiple actions can be removed from records. 
Users can find actions using the search records action object type and remove them from the records they are associated with. A new option has been included as part of the archivist review process. The actions can now be removed from the records using the right click remove incomplete actions option. A new option has been added to assign the nominated responsible location to only the selected action when an action is added to a record and the other locations must be assigned for any subordinate actions that have no responsible location. Users can select multiple activities that are due for completion and assign them as completed in a single update. If a user has delegated locations, the delegated locations can now complete activities on behalf of the responsible location. Users can customize their content manager ribbons to include activity commands. This allows users to add commands they frequently use for workflow activities for easy access. To allow organizations to link different object types, additional fields that have a type of record, schedule, classification, and thesaurus term can be created and associated to content manager objects. An option to remove record metadata when a record is destroyed is now available. A disposal suitability log file can be generated when determining the suitability of records for disposal. This has been enhanced to include the option to include additional details for the selected records. Cancel requests and uncomplete are two options that have been added to the record request options. New record request rules now prevent requests if the record is already requested by another user or the record is not at home. A new menu option, close container, has been added to the right click archiving menu. Combined with new system options on the record page, this new option allows greater flexibility when handling records that are contained within a closed container. To undo the closing of a container, there is a new option called Reopen. This works on all the contents of the selected record with an option of unfinalizing all the contents. It can only be done for records that don't have a container or whose container is currently open. Administrators can preserve all revisions associated to a record that is created using a record type with the option record type electronic. This prevents revisions from being removed as a part of the record finalized process or during any data cleanup processes. Users can now choose to extract a rendition attached to a record as a supercopy. When a new TIFF or PDF rendition is requested using the right click menu electronic request rendition, it is possible to add the generated rendition as the latest revision of the document. Revisions and renditions can be accessed using the right-click menu, electronic, revisions or renditions. Using the right-click menu options will display the items in a new dialog, with the same options available when viewing these via the Records Properties tabs. Users can now search for records with a specific number of revisions using the revision number as the search by method. Thank you for watching. If you would like to find out more, please don't hesitate to contact Wildlinks.